guys like it almost felt like a scene out of some csi investigation action film people running things happening guns firing <sighs> man it was intense hello i'm ronnie let's talk about movies hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for stopping by if you're one of my 118 subscribers thank you for coming back again i should do a get to know me video but in the meantime this video is going to be about blood and water if you haven't watched blood and water it's a netflix series i absolutely love it i think they've been showing it for the past two three years and basically it's all about this girl who goes on this journey trying to find her biological sister who was kidnapped as a baby it's really interesting i really love it and i'm going to be doing this thing where after every episode i'm going to shoot a video log of my reactions and immediate thoughts so let's get started watching season three of blood and water Okay, episode one. You see, the thing that I love about Blood and Water, it just draws you in. Like the story, it starts off really simple and it's like the way the story unravels. So I think in this episode, for the first time, we're actually meeting Katie's mom. Um, the highlight for me in this episode, though, was that Master KG song, Body Thomas. If it's not Body Thomas, but if you're a Nigerian, you will know it as Body Thomas. <laughs> Apart from that, very interesting, intriguing. I'm going to try and make predictions and say that Fix will speak with her father in terms of like, definitely, I think she'll tell the father that she's his daughter. <laughs> I don't know how that's supposed to go. I like the twist though. I like the twist. You know, there's like some twist that's happening and some things like they're already really laying the stage. I, I don't know how to predict how this season is going to go. I'm, I don't have enough information yet to predict it. I suspect, I don't think this is a final season. I suspect there's going to be another season. There's definitely going to be a season four. The way this season has started, like it doesn't seem close to ending, but I don't know. We could get halfway through and there could be nothing. It's just six episodes, so maybe it's the end. Or maybe they're breaking it to actually make a season four. I feel like there is going to be a season four. I don't know enough from this first episode to actually predict what's going to happen in the season. Um, but I can't wait to get stuck in. So let's go episode two. One. <laughs> episode two basically ends in what they call a cliffhanger <clears throat> things are looking interesting i just have to say i miss seeing zama i really kind of liked her in the other seasons in this season we only hear her voice for some reason she can't physically be in the show definitely villain of this scene villain of the entire series has always been katie's mom seeing her now actually puts a face into her the puppet master moving all the strings because everything just kind of ties back to her as the bad guy but yeah this season it's interesting to see how everything has shifted from Fuleng trying to first of all find her sister and then trying to get confirmation that Dikile is her sister and now Dikile is just basically trying to rebuild her world I can't even begin to imagine how traumatizing that must be. The mom she thought she knew was her mom is missing. Um, her real mom, well, quite obviously, she can't really build a relationship with her because she's keeping away details about her biological father. I have a feeling that biological father she's found, there's something there. Um, already there's that little drama from what happened in the first season when she was sleeping with her swimming instructor. I like the way the entire drama just takes, like, you know, you connecting. That's what it is about a well-told story and well-developed characters and storyline. All you have to do is lay a good foundation and everything just builds on itself. Once you set the characters and the personality of the characters, 
and then you said the story and the things that the characters are chasing every other thing just builds and grows on it and you're able to create complicated plots and complicated storylines and just mix and match everything in such a way that is very very believable it's just interesting to see the growth the change um in all the characters and how it's all working together and fitting in the introduction of new characters as well so we have the cousin who's just come in and we're trying to figure out okay how does he fit into everything they put in wendy so she's still com somehow not physically there but we're seeing her yeah there's all these strings uh, which is very interesting to see. Let's keep watching episode 3 next. Episode 3. It just feels like Poleng cannot catch a break. I kind of feel like her father isn't really dead. I don't know. I just I feel like it's all planned or whatever. Maybe not. I really feel for her. I really do. It's just really sad to see all the things that's happening elizabeth is really shaping up to be like a good bad she's always been really but then actually seeing her at work um you can just tell yeah interesting things are getting interesting the plot is thickening and i'm beginning to suspect that this might be the last season hmm. or maybe not maybe they do sell pulling i don't know i'm just trying to think like everything seems to be tying up it seems like they're rounding down what's happening okay let's see episode five guys this episode was utter chaos like it almost felt like a scene out of some csi investigation action film people running things happening guns firing man it was intense like like i'm surprised like it's a different pace from the other seasons and definitely there's going to be a season four like definitely they cannot even wrap it up as it is like they are building up for another um season and i like where it's heading i feel angry kind of like i'm just like you guys end this thing already but uh, interesting okay okay nice one somebody dies or gets hurt at the end of this episode i will take a bet to say that it is kb spoilers i don't care sorry not sorry but yeah i want to bet and say it's kb or figs ah mm, the drama dear okay let's see how it is hmm the Mulapo era is officially over. We can rest or not. Yeah, it's interesting how they kind of placed different um, Easter eggs in all the episodes to kind of build action points for the next season. So we know definitely there's going to be season four. Uh, the big bad of the last three seasons will definitely not be the same big bad in season four. But how everything is going to shape up, we don't know. One thing that was left hanging that they missed in episode 6 is the baby. Ah, uh, what happened to the baby? Because <laughs> at some point, Janet was in the boot of the car, but then where was her baby? So yeah, that was just like a little thing that wasn't brought up. But yeah, I like the way they tied most of all the other bits. Um, Storylines run really parallel to each other. Yeah, interesting to see. Can't wait for the next season. Alright, so that's it. Um, That's the end of the vlog. You know, season three, Blood and Water was intrigue, mayhem, action, 
drama lots and lots and lots of drama it had a lot more suspense and action points than the other two seasons so yeah let me know what you think in the comments if you like this video please leave a thumbs up please subscribe and share and let me know your thoughts if you've seen blood and water if you haven't are you planning to see it i will recommend to see it i think it's a very good watch i quite enjoy it i enjoyed all the other seasons as well it's available on netflix and i will catch you guys again with my next video till then stay good keep netflixing and chilling bye